guys welcome back to my channel so I have some goodies here from Nail Reserve that they sent me last month and this month too every month they sent me a couple of their gel polishes to try out so some of them are repeat I will mention that offhand which these four here are repeats I guess they just sent it to me with their new logo already which is Nail Reserve okay they sent me the the duo black and white okay so nail reserve are vegan knife free formula free and cruelty free this is their full size bottle 15 ml which is right there and it has a shelf life of 24 months two years and this these are soak off gel polish it does have the directions here in the back and then the ingredients that they have as well their gels must be cured under LED light for 30 seconds per coat or UV for 2 minutes per coat. This is Black Attic. I will have the swatch pictures at the end. This one here is White Attic. And I love their black and white. They're opaque. This is Red Attic. Now this one does need like two coats to get that full opaque. This one here is called Warm Glow. This is a repeat so because I already have this one. This one does have like a light black jelly base with some gold sparkles. Let me zoom in, zoom in so you guys can see the sparkles. That is warm glow and I will provide the swatch pictures at the end because I already have these already swatched okay now this one is new to my collection this one is called beauty and the nude which is a nude shade this one is like the tan brown nude very pretty it definitely looks like um, beach sand color and then this one is called Serendipity and it's a green glittery I love green which today's design is going to be St. Patrick's Day inspired so this one will be perfect most likely we'll use it for the design look at that sparkle it does look like it has like a light green base with some colorful sparkles it could be like holographic perhaps when I swatch it, you will know. But here you can see a swatch. It shows like goldish, greenish sparkles. Okay, that one was for last month. And now for this month, they sent me four new colors. And they also provided me with their no wipe top coat. Oops, to zoom there. Their no wipe top coat and their base, the base. Which that is awesome because I never tried their base or no wipe top coat. So that will be a first. <clears throat> okay, so looking at the colors, this one is a repeat. I already have this one. Let's have some fun. And oh my god, my sister always comes to this color when I paint her nails. Because it's a very pretty like neon pinkish color. And then these three are new. Next color here is going to be Cactus Dream. This green reminds me of Yoshi. Very pretty. It's going to need a second coat. Because it's just a little bit streaky. But not that much. I mean you can't see it through. But I just like to do two coats. The next one here is called Dye By. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. This is a very pretty color. Can't wait to do some manis with that one. And then the last one here is the big picture. Now when I'm swatching it, it looks like a neon orangey coral. 
but it's more like on the orangey side very pretty so I'm gonna cure this do a second coat off camera then show you the final results so I'll top coat it So this is going to need more than one coat, but here it is. base I got here is just white attic one thin coat and then I mixed in a little bit of black attic with the base to get like a translucent black color so I can begin to draw out my design which is gonna be this cute little St. Patrick's Day piglet it looks super cute I haven't painted piglet in a while I think I do mostly Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Cause believe it or not, Winnie the Pooh is easy. It looks complicated, but it's really not. So let me try ahead and do something different, I said. Okay, so he has his little hat over here. There's his little head. And then his little cheek. <clears throat> then this little body over here. I have to zoom in. Let me zoom out a little bit. This little arm over here holding a clover. And this little other arm here. Okay, so. Draw the clover. So I only could see like a little bit of the clover. Okie dokie. So now one of his legs is here. And then the other one is over here. Now back to his head. <clears throat> Still under the weather. Niece and nephew, they both have strep throat. I mean, my, my throat doesn't irritate me anymore like it did. I got one of his ears, and then the other ears over here. And then the rest of the hat. I'm gonna go ahead and paint his face already. Okay. This little nose over here, which is like a little triangle. Then his little smile. And there it goes. Cure this before I start coloring it. Okay, the pink I'm going to use for his body is going to be Pixie Dust. Okay, so I had to get Venice Beach from Madame Glam. Mix a little bit with of White Attic. And then I mix it in with a little bit of this mixture, which was Lotus and White Attic. To get that pinkish shade. <clears throat> okay, so now it's time to color it. I'm going to start with the body first. I mean... Let me start with his face first. And 
And now his ears. And cure this. Oh yeah, his little tongue, I forgot. <laughs> Here this. Now for his body, I'm gonna go in with Underground Queen. Oh, I forgot to shade. Oh no, I did. Okay, I did shade in his arm. I thought I did it. And now it's time to cure this. And now it's time to outline. And I'm using Black Attic. Okay, I'm going to add some of Serendipity to his little clothing. Give a little extra touch of sparkle and to the hat. And then for the clover, I'm going to go in with Cactus Dream to add some highlights. Do it by the veins. <clears throat> and then I'm going to do some shadowing with that clear mixed with a little bit of black. That is it for this nail okay so for the middle and pinky nail they're gonna be the same so I have the base of cactus dream already cured so now I'm gonna go again and add a second coat of cactus dream to the top half of the nail only cuz I want to do like an ombre and then the bottom half is going to have serendipity. Oh, that's too dark. Okay, let's see how it does when I blend it. Okay, so I just got a little sponge wedge here. So now I'm just going to blend the colors together. Oh wow, it's taking out the dark green. It definitely took out the dark green base and just left the glitter there, which I'm fine with that. I think it looks 
cool like that too. So I'm just trying to blend it upward towards the center with the two greens. There it goes. I'm going to cure this in the lamp. Now I'm going to add the no white top coat to this nail because I want to do some sugar clovers like velvety. So I need to make sure the base is tackless. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with Die By, Day By, however, and my liner brush, and I'm gonna draw some clovers. I'm gonna do them like heart shape, the petals. Okay, there goes one. Here goes the other one. And they kind of meet at the center but not connected well I don't want them connected and this part is inspired by Votino because I saw him do like some velvety clovers and I thought that looks so cute Okay, so now I'm going to add the clear acrylic powder, sprinkle it on top. I'm going to do one clover at a time because I don't want the gel polish to run. If it was like gel paint, it would stay in place, but this is gel polish. There it goes. Cure this in the lamp. And then I'll repeat two more clovers around here. Since I'm running low on memory, I'll just do that off camera. And here is the finished look. <clears throat> I did go ahead and add some stones. On the index nail, I painted the whole nail with the gold gel paint from Adam Glam. And then I outlined the piglet nail with the gold gel paint as well. And I added some gold on the little hat there. A little extra touch of sparkle although the hat was already sparkly <laughs> and for the thumbnail I did an ombre with white dye vi and cactus dream and I added some gold glitter on top and then I added matte top coat and then I added some bling it looks very cute and sparkly and this is how it looks with the flash on I really love how the velvety clovers look super cute so i hope you guys enjoyed today's design and i will see you guys in the next one bye